Come on. Come on, man. That is so awesome. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into the spooky season. I'm excited to be going into this. I know a lot of you guys enjoy this sort of themed uh, movie watching and all that, which is great because, you know, horror and the beauty of horror and just the elements of spookiness i guess you could say can be applied to a lot of things you know it could just be straight up horror like in a way where you get jump scared it could be i'm not gonna jump scare you by the way <laughs> yeah it could be you know horror in a way that's psychological that is uh cosmic horror you know we they could be slasher films they can be um a whole bunch of other stuff i know i'm missing out on a bunch of other horrors but you know how it is there's so many that you can't really you know come to a list of them you know that's how many ways you can really use the art form of horror to your element you know you can really bend it to your will if you uh, know exactly what you're working with so i'm excited to kind of you know jump into that theme a little bit here and see how those elements are going to be at play with some of these films but most importantly um really looking into these films you know seeing them from a perspective that uh, obviously you know from a filmmakers but in the perspective of someone who wants to you know have a story to tell i haven't seen constantine i have no idea what constantine is about other than the fact that it has Keanu Reeves in it I know I know it just seemed it seemed like you know similar to like Blade it just slipped through the cracks of that where I watched all the other things that Keanu Reeves has been in I've seen the Matrix uh, I've seen well I, I think I've seen all the Matrix but yeah I have not seen this of him I've seen John Wick I've seen other films with him in it and I just have not been able to get to Constantine so I think it's pretty great and it's pretty fitting that we're able to kind of like watch this during this month so like always you guys know the drill if you guys want to be able to support this channel the best way to do it is through Patreon you can you know check out any other uncut versions of this because I unfortunately can't you know put all that I have to say about this film into the YouTube edit so if your favorite part isn't in the YouTube edit, don't worry. It's probably in the full link down below if you want to check it out. You can also support the channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And at the end of the day, just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into Constantine. You know what's crazy? Um, I recently, and this is like a day ago I found this out, they're making a Constantine 2. Is that for real? Hmm. He who possesses the Spear of Destiny holds the fate of the world in his hands. The Spear of Destiny has been missing since the end of World War II. What the hell is the Spear of Destiny? Oh my goodness, man. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of people getting clocked by cars unexpectedly. Okay, I love that we're just being thrown into the mix. I love it. That was crazy looking. <laughs> That's like the exorcist right there. I'm going to say this real quick because I'm noticing it just flying by really quickly. These camera angles, very comic book like. Like what the heck? That's really damn cool. I love that they're having fun with it too. Hey, yo, what just happened? What just happened? Did he really just punch a demon that j was in her throat? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Is that what I just saw? No one was looking like a gargoyle was trying to get out of there. She's Kramer. Shia LaBeouf's in this too? What? Pretty big prick. Free boss. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. There's a lot of cool elements that are happening within the first couple of minutes of this film. So my fault for, you know, commentating a little bit too much. It's just, there's a lot. That is cool, man. They have a lot of really awesome elements in this film. It really does remind me of Blade. <laughs> it really does. It feels like they are truly embracing the world that they live in and that's not just with the character 
in the story, it's also just with the environment. Yo, some of these shots are crazy. Like, <laughs> like that is so cool. What just happened to her is effed up, but like the way they are shooting some of these scenes are just so freaking awesome. Damn, like, you guys see what I'm saying? Like, that camera movement right there was so cool. There is a lot of fun in this film. Hold the door. You're going down. I wonder if I can help it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. John? John? I love our little talk, John. <laughs> I love that this dude just rides around in the cab. <laughs> exercising things that is pretty cool man <laughs> yes. i was not expecting that <laughs> i was also not expecting to see her playing that but wow that was cool Flattered. you look like a villain now <laughs> you look like a person that's up to no good i don't even understand Wow. Wow. <laughs> there is a lot of lore in this film. I gotta say, I'm happy as heck they're hitting us with it right now. Because if they were trying to fit all this and sprinkle it throughout the film, I feel like it would have been a lot. I'm happy that they're just hitting us with it. Because of the life you took. You're fucked. Yeah, so my man's trying to get a ticket into heaven. Came back out of that conversation with a you're effed reaction. Okay. <laughs> so now we got my man's motivation. That's good. I can see why he acts like that now. What the heck? Oh, man. I was very confused as to what that was. Oh, damn. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, how this is apparently is normal in this town? Like, what on earth, man? That is disgusting. You know what would be really sick? Because this reminds me of, like, cyberpunk. Could you imagine, like, a hacker? But in that world, they would probably treat it as, like, a exorcist. And the hacker's going around and, you know, has to fight off mal malware or something like that. Like, people who are infected by, I don't know... Their system's getting effed up on a psychological level. That could be cool. But I only say Cyberpunk because of how stylistic this film is. This thing just oozes freaking style. I love it. It's so cool. Or she'd be ripped apart over and over in screaming brutal agony for all eternity. That it. God. Golly, bro. Y'all make hell seem... <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, I get it, but dang, that's crazy. But it's honest, it's again, I find it really interesting because I think it just more along plays with his fear of hell, or just his fear of dying, I should say. I, man, it's so cool. <laughs> I love it. You know, going back to what I was saying previously on how the environment can just play a role in immersion. This is great. I love it. That is so wild, man. My man just nuked them all out of existence. And then the lights just come back on. That is really cool, man. Careful with that cat. <laughs> oh man, it's just sitting there with the cat, just. <laughs> it seems like every moment when they're given the opportunity, they make such a cool effort into just stylizing this. I love it. Damn. 
Yeah, that looks like, um, that does look like hell. <laughs> it looks like hell on earth. I love how they did that, man. That all seemed like it happened within like one second, but obviously that wasn't one second in his world. That was so cool how they did that. Oh, snap. It's not letting him drink. That's crazy cool. Oh, man. That's wicked. Freaking store owners, like, dude, why? What are you doing, man? <laughs> okay, that got that that ran a chill up my spine. That ran a chill up my spine. Okay. It's one place to go. You're trying to buy your way into heaven. What would you do if you were sentenced to a prison where half the inmates were put there by you? I'll be honest, that is understandable. I can't believe they found a way to make that sound so reasonable. But that's... I'd do that. <laughs> I'd be like, bro, I'm not trying to go back down there. What? Well, we are girls. Mm, that's cool that the reflection is happening right there as she's trying to reflect about her twin. I don't know. I think that's really cool. Possible to cross over. Whose son? God's son? No, the other one. I need to see what she saw. That was really interesting. That frame right there just reminded me of like the confessions she would do. How there would be like a separation. So what's gonna happen? Oh, this dude's gonna drown her. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. As long as it takes. He I mean you he wasn't kidding. He wasn't kidding. This is for real. Would y'all do this? <laughs> I have no reason to try to visit hell, so I'm gonna have to skip out on the whole drowning. Yep. Yep, you ain't getting up. <laughs> Man, that is so just he's just like I tried to tell you. Oh man, she these expressions are perfect. <laughs> She's doing a great job at showing the what the effery. There are so many cool moments in this film. I, I don't even know how many times I said, yo, this is so cool. We tip the scales when you start killing my friends. I'm just adding some cowboy. Oh, get the hell out. What is that? Oh, that is so dude. <laughs> it's blade all over again, yo. Like there's just so many dope things popping off in this film. This film just oozes coolness. How was the reception for this film? Because I, I know, like, you know, making a film with, like, religion involved can... It can be, it can be a big risk. <laughs> I was born of this! That's cool. <laughs> These two, man... Every waking moment, they just, they've just been about the action. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. That is so awesome. He has crossed brass knuckles, man. <laughs> He's hitting him with holy punches. Man, I've never seen that weapon before. That looks like it came fresh out of Borderlands or Fallout. That thing is so icy. 
Dang. I need that. What's wrong? I don't know. I just feel... Oh, yo, she got yanked through all of that. Oh, my gosh. She's getting the anime treatment. <laughs> she is getting thrown through the entire building. Mm. Damn. So, so at that moment, he he kind of knows. He's she's like, listen, if I gotta go, I gotta go. I need to use that chair. A little flavor. <laughs> I love how in a film that is so wrapped around heaven and hell, everybody is smoking and drinking. Getting blown apart, flying through buildings, and now getting electrocuted. <laughs> Golly, that is so freaking dope, man. Like, come on, bruh. Look at this thing. So awesome. So awesome. So to everybody who worked on this film. They have so much fun on this. That's what I'm talking about. If you get back, see me over my machine. Maybe. Okay. Man, look at the setting. This is so awesome. I love this. I love this entire vibe. Hey, yo, respect to her. She was she was making sure that those bullets were going somewhere. One last show. If they're able to make an Alan Wake series that is like the same similar tone texture to Constantine, it's a hit. It's a hit. Even for people who don't know who Alan Wake is, I think just the vibe alone would be so refreshing. Oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Go back to that camera angle. That was awesome. Oh yeah, this is filthy. This is filthy. This is filthy. Filthy man, I cannot believe. Yo, why haven't we talked about Constantine? I don't know if that's the right choice of words you want. I don't know if you want that thing getting out of you right there. Shia, what are you, dog? What are you, Shia? Is Shia an angel? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Ah. It isn't. Oh, my goodness, bro. People are getting iced out here. People are getting finished. They're not even getting finessed anymore. They're just, they're just dead. <laughs> Your ego is astounding. I knew, man. I should have known it was going to be her. I said it at the first start. I was like, I don't trust you. Got her foot on his face, man. Mm. <laughs> Even when you know it's about to happen, you know that that's about to happen. It's still so cool to witness. <laughs> oh, it's this dude. That's cool. That's cool. I would come up here to collect myself. Mm -hmm. He said, come up here. So this dude, I know that wasn't God, but I know that's probably saying. Busy, busy, busy. Need a vacation. Word 
is that? <laughs> Yo, his mannerisms are insane. <laughs> they had the spear of destiny. <laughs> Yo, this dude is such a troll, bruh. <laughs> I love that they do not F around with the power scaling. Love it. I love when powerhouses get the respect. I don't even care if they're bad or good. I just, I'm happy when there's a clear power scaling. That's satisfying. I, I mean, guys, I come from anime. What do you expect? <laughs> Honor. Uh-oh, he's not here. Look like God, your boy, your father is not here. I never would have thought I'd be happy to hear that. Mmm, <laughs> burnt the wings. <laughs> this is so cool, man. This is so freaking cool. Why have we not seen any more of this? I'm freaking out. What's going on here? He stuck his middle finger out. <laughs> oh, man. You will live. What did he just pull out of him? I'm trying to figure out what he just pulled out of him. It almost looked like he took out his kidneys. That's a shame. He really robbed him from getting into heaven, though. Jesus, I guess it's good to live too so there's that End my life. <laughs> no <laughs> pain get used to it that's cool that's cool that's a unique concept some people don't. That's cool. That's cool. All right, everybody. And that is Constantine. A little after credit. Can't forget about those. Can't forget about those. I knew it. Damn it, I knew it. This dude was an angel. That I hey, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. All right, everybody, we just got done, Constantine. This was a fun ride. I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> Wasn't expecting any of this at all. Man, this thing was oozing with just fun and style. It reminds me of Blade, even though they are. Well, I mean, they're they're similar in just how they go about storytelling. Um, but man, I'm so happy that they just committed and just went fully into whoever John Constantine is, but more importantly, the world around him. Now, I know sometimes these type of films, uh, these type of stories, you know, they typically tend to get modernized. And I'm not sure how john constantine's story is outside of this film as well i really don't know much about the character um but i'm happy that they didn't modernize it so they it could fit within a a realm that is more comprehensible i'm happy that it seemed that they just went boss to the wall and hopefully invested fully into the story and even if they didn't it looked and felt as if they did the environments within this film and the amount of environments along with the characters and i mean like like this thing is decorated with style from head to toe like just look at every environment in every frame if you possibly can you know you don't have to watch every scene but if you want to just check it out just especially with the club scene or even the the hideout uh you know behind the bowling alley and all those empty glass bottles that just lit up the room and it's just behind this bowling alley it just gives such a, a unique spin to something that quite honestly i don't think would have worked if they hadn't dove fully into it i think it would have came off as cheesy if i could be honest um i feel like it would have came off as 
not as obviously respectable to wherever source they're getting this from. But again, I just really have to commend the fact that they went fully into the atmosphere, the war, the craziness, the texture of this film, of this journey. But, you know, not only did they get that right, but I feel like every other thing that you want to, you know, incorporate within the story just becomes a little bit easier to digest because it's like, okay, well, if we're going balls to the wall with the environment, just where the story is taking place in, then I feel as though the things that are happening within the story are just a little bit more believable, a little bit more digestible, despite the story being about God and uh, Satan and hell and heaven and all these other crazy this happening and all that you got golden shotgun shells that are made out of like holy bullets you got a bunch of other crazy gadgets it's awesome and it's because they made me believe it's awesome so yeah i mean i i, I dig it i dig it i'm happy they didn't play around with this again i only relate this to blade because it gives off that similar style you know really believing in what they're creating not caring and just really going balls to the wall with it and I hope that you guys see how cool it is, like even in 2022, you know, um, I'm not sure when this film came out on top of my head, but probably over a decade ago. Uh, and it still holds up. It's still really cool. It's not as cheesy. It's um, it's still exciting. There's still really cool things that you can learn as a filmmaker and even as a storyteller when watching this, you know, just engaging the audience when, when you're spinning the camera, trying to showcase a perspective. Not everything has to be CGI. You can just spin the freaking camera and, you know, pull off a crazy transition. You know, it's it's really freaking awesome is what I'm saying. Um, guys, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm kind of surprised we haven't gotten a second Constantine because I feel like the way it ended totally could have left off with a Constantine film or even a Constantine series or even just like, I don't know, the similar people who did this could have made like Alan Wake. There's so many other things you could have done. You could, you guys could do with this. And I think that just goes to show you how awesome this film is by itself. So let me know what your thoughts are below in the comment section. As always, I'm happy that we're hitting Halloween. Guys, I appreciate y'all. Stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.